Coming at you from New Jersey, capital of history, the place where metal forgot to die. This is the Here Lies Metal, Too Many Notes, new music review. I'm Samantha R. And I am Maledictus, and we shall be your overlords today and all of eternity. What is going on here today? Today, we are here to discuss the latest album by the band Black Rock, entitled Nightmare Empire. Uh, Black Rock uh, is a heavy black speed metal band from Hvinka, Finland, uh, which is a little bit outside of Helsinki. It's got two A's. Well, 50 kilometers outside of Helsinki, as per my research. Uh, it features M. Vema on drums and T. Wilberg on guitars and vocals. No bass. That's it. It's two guys. Dynamic duo. Uh, this is their fourth album. Uh, I will say I'm coming in this cold. Never heard of them before, so it's first for me. But this is their fourth album, follow up to 2018's Arcane Remorseless, and was released January 14th independently on Bandcamp, where it's free. All right. So, uh, you know, I spent a night in Helsinki once, and um, I ate a steak. That is all. And now it is time for the Here Last Metal five point bi-directional classification scale, including the categories of genre loyalty, listenability, production style, musical complexity, and just plain fun. And remember, neither side of these scales means good or bad. So uh, what do we have to start here? We have true or nonconformist. And and what is uh what's going on with this one? Well, I'm going to give this a 1.5 or 1 down there, down there on the true side. You may ask yourself, what is heavy black speed metal? How can you get a true for heavy black speed metal? Heavy black speed metal is Hellhammer, and it's Hellhammer worship. And this is a 1 for Hellhammer worship. We've got that necro guitar tone, necro production, dark, evil, first wave black metal riffs. The the vocals are just that belligerent shouting really Tom G. Warrior-esque vocals, but even more fuzzed out and coarser, at least the way they recorded them. Um, I mean, so much Hellhammer worship that it's like, some at some points I feel like the riffs cross the line where it's like almost too similar, yeah. where I almost felt like a Hellhammer song, they were covering one, but they weren't. Um, but yeah, they hit those, uh, you know, the tempo variety too of Hellhammer, where they have, you know, those fast, punky songs, but also some very slow, more doom kind of songs. Uh, and yeah, uh, but those fast punky parts, like th- they did have a blast beat at one point, yeah, which I found kind of interesting, but for the most part, very D beat, uh, very upbeat drumming. And they did have a little kind of a weird sound on the guitar times that I couldn't play quite place as Kyle Hammer, but for the most part, Hellhammer. One for Hellhammer, genre Hellhammer. <laughs> yeah, the guys decided to go OG. Um, you know, when you go OG, you can either go Venom or Hellhammer, I guess, and they, they chose side Hellhammer, you know, when you go OG, you know. Or you, maybe you can go Slayer, I mean, there's too. so many bands you could pick. Yeah, when you go OG. But they're, they're going OG, though. That's that's the bottom line. <laughs> that's that's what's really clear here. Um, yeah, obviously, there's nothing um, groundbreaking here, so I, yeah, I have to completely agree. It's, it's true. Like, there's nothing, you know, they're doing is traditional, you know, so. Um, next... We have, are you done with it? Mm-hmm. Next, we have Sonic Terror or Distorted Pop. What is it? I'm going to give it a two on the Sonic Terror side. So in the terror realm, but not all the way. Uh, it's just with this level of production and belligerence and the evilness of the riffs. Uh, you know, the album is not for polite company. Um, I mm-hmm. mean, it's not super heavy it's not grating at any point, but it's, it's just crude. They're, they're just very crude guys. Uh, it's a terror to genteel society, uh, more so than your to your ears, because a lot of the riffs are kind of, you know, they're rocking. Uh, sometimes they're bouncy, uh, but other times they're more applauding and kind of testing you. You, you don't face. want these guys moving into your building. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to agree. Um, it, it's, there's a lot of sonic terror here, and, and, if, and, and this is really going to be focused on the next category, but if it wasn't like as harsh as it is, I think it would get more points. Like, cause the songs aren't really that terrifying. It's just the way they're done, you know, but we'll get into that in the next, in, in the next um, category here. The next category of Fisher Price to high production, Maledictus, what do we have? All right. So I had to give it a one Fisher Price. <laughs> and, and if you listen to the album, like, you, you know, if you have another opinion on this, I'd like to hear it. Um, like this is probably one of the most necro records I think we've ever reviewed here in Here Lies Metal. Um, you know, from my solid, solid analysis, um, you know, I, I'm like, 
hearing a literal version of the Fisher Price tape recorder put into the middle of the room and just being overdriven by this assault of sound pressure from from drums and you know and one guitar amplifier just being overloaded and you can hear it it's like the mic is just being distorted by whatever is going on in this room um, I can't hear any kind of distinct tracking um, for the most part, however, I, I found a couple examples. Well, yeah, there's a there's just sort of two. yeah, there's like a rudimentary guitar solo in there. It's very if you want to call it a solo. Um, and now obviously they had to track that since they have like two members and it's still a background guitar going on. So um, there's no evidence of any kind of bass in this that I can hear. I mean, I don't think there's a bass in here. We're pretty sure there isn't. I was a little bit thrown because mm. doing research on these guys, I see them playing live mm. recently with a bass player, and Metal Archives has. They have a live member who's a bass player, but I guess he doesn't play on the album, but does play live. Yeah, why couldn't they just do him we in the studio? We both agree we heard no bass I on I can't the hear album. a bass. But why couldn't they just use that guy in the studio? I know. Comment down below, guys, if you hear I, it's, it's not part of their sound. Yeah, I guess not. Yes, I guess I guess all... they want more punch live. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a reason for it. Some people don't use basses sometimes. Um, but yeah, this is a very simple mix and it's, you know, it's a very harsh mix and it's just bare bones as possible. Um, and, and there's kind of like this little echo in it. Like that, I'm I'm picking up, and it's in the drums, and I don't know if it's the actual room they're in. I don't I don't know if it's the drums <laughs> bouncing off of the brick wall room they're in. It's a physical effect. Yeah, maybe it's a real effect, or maybe it's like an effect, like they put like a like a some sort of delay or reverb, or actually a delay on um, like the mix. Uh, I don't It'd be know. Cool if it was an organic effect. Yeah, maybe it's just a brick wall. It's just the drums hitting a brick wall, literally, and bouncing <laughs> off back into the microphone. I don't know, but you know, if you guys hear this comment down below, I, I'd like to hear more details of how you record this because this is like, you know, and I'm not. And I'm not saying is in a bad way but this is like is as minimal as possible as, as you know as, as one as one that i've ever heard you know in, in any of the albums we've done but it sounds so, good though yeah and it's it's catchy still it, it does it, it it works with the music it, it's it's real it's og okay you, you it guys, never goes all the way fuzzed out yeah it doesn't go you're hearing everything that's happening uh -huh. but there's not a lot that happens yeah everything's clear in there um yeah and which gets us to our next category here yeah, and this is important so the next category is enough notes or too many notes. Where, where are we here? We're going to have a two on enough notes or maybe not enough notes. Uh, this is a very loose album. Uh, it's It's got this very spaced out feel. As we said, it's only a bass and drum. Uh, sorry. It's only a drums and guitar with very, very minimal tracking, like maybe tracking on like four times throughout the whole album. So there is a lot of room to breathe. Like you can feel the space in between the guitar and the drums. Uh, on top of that, the songs are very simple for the most part. Uh, a lot of hitting you over the head with same the same riff. A lot of the same notes happening a lot on this album. Uh, I mean, for example, the riff on Sewer Earth is just one of the dumbest things you will hear if you love a dumb riff. Listen to Sewer Earth and a lot of, a lot of the rest of this album. This is a name of the song like that, Sewer, Sewer Earth. Earth. Yeah. It's a good name. Yeah. Um, but and yeah, the, the only uh, you could debatably call a guitar solo would be it's very heavily distorted. I kind of like that distorted tone they got there. Oh yeah, it's like you, a minimal sound. You don't hear it a lot either. Like I can't really place you know what other album I've heard that used on before. But um, um, that's the weird direct effect sound that I talked about in that one other album. But I think you know it might be that same idea. But, but. It's, yeah, it's just basically a very simple line through this heavy distortion on the like guitar. Very, it sounds like very bad and <laughs> it's just like a I couple. Think. It's just like a couple notes, and that's the guitar solo. Yeah, it's very simple. No. But one caveat is, I guess, the drumming. I think there was some thought put on on the drumming. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of D beat. He put in some like very weird, kind of sloppy, almost, but also kind of like, I feel like carefully sloppy blast beats. Yeah. Uh, undisciplined, but like. Undisciplined, uh, like sure. he meant he meant them to sound undisciplined and loose and chaotic yeah, and crazed. Not, yeah, they're not precise. Uh, more more crazed than precise. But good though, but really good. Um, yeah, speaking of that guitar track, I think you know also you know pr production wise, I think they might have panned them too. They might have stereoized them, which kind of was like, oh, they, I think they panned these on e either side. But you know, might be just an illusion. Um, despite these extremely harsh, um, like the mic quality. Um, I, I was really noticing the drumming here. I mean, the guitar is, you know, the guitar is the guitar. It's well, the kind of guitar you'd play in this kind of music. There's really just three elements for you to notice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's very simple. You could, you could really just, you know, you could simply um, really analyze what's going on here in the spectrum. Um, the drumming um, in this record is something to take notice of. Um, this is a drummer's album. The, the drumming is extremely versatile. It's dynamic. And 
and it's feel happy. I mean, and I think that's the result of the record's minimalism. There's not a guitarist to fight with. The drummer has the whole other half of the mix, even probably more than half of the mix. He probably has three quarters of the mix, you know, and the guitar player is just that that last quarter. Um, this, yeah, this album's all about those drums. He's doing a lot. He's the star of this show. I think from this from the mix. I agree. Yeah, he he's you know and this guy's a good drummer. Okay, no don't don't be fooled by the minimal of his record. This guy this guy if he was recorded like well, then you know like you you would be like wow this guy's amazing you know so yeah like it, it, it's all you know in the eye of the beholder, but um, yeah, good drums. Next is fun or focus. Now this is kind of confusing. This one. Huh? I didn't know what to give this album. We'll have to, we'll, we'll discuss it. Um, Cause on the one hand, you know, the punky sections are just very fun, uh, but these guys are spitting a lot of venom and they, they seem serious about it. Mm. Um, on the other hand, I had a lot of fun listening to this album and I think it's a fun listen, but I'm not sure. I don't know if they're having fun. Yeah. Um, well, in my opinion, like any album recorded in such a manner, in, you know, in such a level of minimalism, um, like to me that, like that kind of like has to be fun or like if it isn't like you probably don't want, you know, you probably don't want to fuck with these guys. You don't want them moving into your part, you know, into your building if they're, if they're, if they're serious about this. Cause you know, they're probably some hardcore dudes. If uh, you're like, no, this is serious. You know, like those kind of guys, those guys kind of doesn't, don't exist anymore. Do they, you know, like back in the day, I think they did, but like, I don't know. I so that's, that's my opinion. Like, Finland is such a foreign land. That's true. That I feel like it's hard to judge their intentions. Like, yeah. if this came from... They're cold people. America, I would say it's fun. Yeah, 100% yeah, yeah. For fun. Sure. Oh, for sure. 100%. But they might be, like, very serious about, you know, the, the Hellhammer. Finns, do you know the Finns in Finland, they're the best drivers in the world. Did you know that? They have a very... <laughs> I, I, what bearing does that okay. have on the fun score? Because they're serious people. They're like just hard. They're hardcore about things. When they drive to pass the driving test in, in Finland, it, it's like almost like learning how to fly a plane. Like, I've actually heard someone who was in Finland for a bit comment on the driving, and her comment was that when they see a yellow light, instead of like here where they speed up, they will slow down and stop. Yeah, they're they're professional. They're some of the best race car drivers come from Finland. It's it's a fact. <laughs> and it's a fact. Look it up. But, yeah. So anyway, I do. This is a fun album for me. Whether it's a fun album for them, if it's intended with funness, whether they're fun guys, you wouldn't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's a two for fun. All right, comment down below, guys. If you guys see this review, I'd like to hear it from you guys. Because they're definitely not like cracking jokes on the record. Mm. Um, it's very serious Hellhammer worship, but just the act of doing that is a fun act. So yeah, normally we would think that's fun. Make of that what you will. Mm. Yeah, so if it was from the rest of the world, it would be fun. <laughs> Except for Russia, but yeah. Otherwise, yeah. That's Although I, I think that the, they had a nice uh, spoken word section on track five, "Fallen to Impurity," mm. uh, which kind of seemed fun to me. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe it's a little tongue in cheek in there. We just don't get it. It's just a cultural thing. It's a language thing. Maybe you know, it was in ling- it was in English. Okay. I could not understand a single lyric on this album. Yeah, I think I think other you know. So who knows? I, I imagine they mostly talk um, English. The the Finns. I think they do. I, I'm sure amongst themselves they speak Finnish. Yeah, they, they speak their own weird language or double A's, their double Unlau A's that they have there. So. All right, next we have to look at the album art. All right. Um, uh, the album know. art is uncredited. I They did not list anything. and uh, It's a photograph. Yeah? I don't know what's going on in there. It's a tree? What is that? We do need to uh, speak as possible here. What am I looking at here? Um, I mean, I think this is a Rorschach. So um, what do you see? You think it's a Rorschach? Isn't a Rorschach like symmetrical though? Like a mirror image? This is a, uh, this is a Necro Black Metal Rorschach. Um, I, okay. You want to see what I see here? Yes. Okay. So they're in a forest and there's a lot of junk. This is a, this is a bush, right? And this is a fan. It's in the middle of a forest. It's, it's like a fan. This is a fan. What kind it, of fan? It's like a, a hot fan you have in your house that... Like, like a when standing you, fan? You no, know, well, like the one you put on the floor, like the bigger one you put on the floor. Oh, okay, maybe it's a desk fan because it's round, see? Oh, I see. Okay. And it's just on the floor in the forest. For I don't know why. It's That's what I see. That's the first thing I'm thinking of. I mean, okay. Yeah, that... That, that makes no sense. That definitely looks like a, you know, like a tree that's been kind of like pushed out of the uh-huh. way. Um, so, oh, under, like overgrowth, undergrowth, whatever it's fucking called. It's like it's the album title is Nightmare Empire. I don't know if that I gives you any clues don't here. Don't see an empire here. I'm not seeing an empire. Just saying. It is a nightmare, though. 
a maybe because you're like in the middle of those woods and there's just like a fan there. It's just, it kind of looks like Philadelphia. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like any <laughs> given street in, in Philadelphia. That's what it looks like. Some garbage on the side and overgrown trees. That's that's what Philadelphia looks like. All right. Not Finland. Finland does not look like that at this all. This album is about Philadelphia. I don't think so, but Wait. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. Which is the Nightmare Empire. It's a shitty place. It's the capital of it. But Finland does not look like it. Finland is nice. It is like the cleanest place I've ever seen. Well, you've never been to Havinka. Yeah, that's true. Only been to Helsinki. Um, All right. In conclusion, uh, this is a pretty cool album. I'm curious to check out their earlier works. I hope to God that they all sound like this because, I, you know, I, 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 I would like to think that this band does not progress. It's just this the whole time. Because what where could they have come, you know, to get here? What could they have been before? Yeah, this sounds like a first album, right? In most cases, right? You know, it sounds like a demo. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't know if I would say that because mm-hmm. I think it's recorded well. Like it's like they captured perfectly what they're trying they to did. get. They did. Which takes some experience to got do. everything on that microphone. And the songs are, are good. They are. They're good. So so they're, catchy. they're catchy. They don't sound. They sound like they knew what they were doing. Uh, so I wouldn't say it sounds like a first album from that, but. Uh, yeah, uh, this is very cool. I love, uh, you know, we keep on saying Hellhammer Worship. I'm very open to Hellhammer Worship. Very open to Celtic Frost Worship. Very open to anything Tommy Warrior Worship. Tommy OG Warrior. And I, I honestly, I feel like I don't find enough of just straight up worship of those bands. And so whenever I find it, I'm going to be like, yes. They're not Hellhammer. Plenty of uh, Celtic Frost, but not Hellhammer. Yeah, no, 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 I don't find. I've only found one band recently that I felt was straight Celtic Frost really? worship. Really? Yes. So many people I just feel like are just doing Celtic Frost. I would Celtic Frost influenced. Yeah. But Celtic Frost worship. No. Oh no 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 yeah, well, yeah like like the way people worship Slayer no 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 yes. not, not like worship yeah. People, I'm talking like a one for Celtic Frost. Yeah, people like worship the fuck out of Slayer as as a fact. Um, but yeah, like total yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So okay. So um. Oh, yeah. That's about it then. Um. <laughs> Yeah, like what, what my my final thoughts is yeah I think they made it sound like this on purpose that they they probably had the had the ability to make it sound better but why do that when you could make it sound OG? So yeah. I mean it sounded more primitive than than Hellhammer. Oh yeah, yeah they made it, they even went farther. So they went. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think they had to do this. Like anyone could just record some shit in their house and make it sound better. I don't think they wanted to. So I'm not you know I'm not bashing your recording technique. That's like it is art. Okay, it is art. I'm into it. <laughs> yes. Keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't not change. Never change. All right. Thank you for watching this review. We'll see you again with more reviews later.